Ladies and gentlemen, the International Photography Awards is proud to introduce the second annual Lucy Awards at the American Airlines Theater in New York City. Please join us in welcoming our host for the evening, Mr. Douglas Kirkland. That is the voice of God that just spoke. You heard the voice of God here. So whenever you hear that big voice from above, that's what it's supposed to represent. Thank you for coming this evening. This is a very special event. We did it once before in Los Angeles, but in New York. Hey, listen, this is New York. Isn't this going to be better than ever this year? Hey, very special evening. And you know what I said in the past, I really mean this. Motion pictures, and I'm around the movie business a lot, has the Oscars. And I think most of us have been jealous as still photographers that we never had anything equivalent. This is our equivalent of the Oscars. A very special evening, giving honor to those who should get the respect and attention. And I would like to introduce the founder of this event, Jose Farmani, who's going to give a few words. I would like to thank you all for being here tonight. The idea of these awards was inspired by many compelling images that I've seen throughout the years. The pictures that have changed my life that I always wondering in whose eyes was behind the camera. To, to recognize the art behind the crafting of these images, we decided to have an award ceremony to honor these individuals who have devoted their lives to this art. So here we are tonight at the second Animal Lucy Awards to celebrate both the photographers and the people who are an essential part of them creating a great image. Tonight would not be possible without the love and passion that all of us share for photography. There are so many people I'd like to thank, but time won't permit. However, I would like to thank, in particular, Anne Lagerberg for her tireless dedication to this event. Susan Bears for non-stop support through the years. I also want to thank Tim Zerman, Gobi, Petrum Hassi, Doug Smith, Michelle Bersten, Yildiz Kerman, and all of our sponsors, especially our major sponsors, Olympus, Ad Edge, Orbitz, and Sandisk. I would also like to thank you for your support. Seven, this event wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you again for making tonight possible and enjoy the show. Outstanding Achievement for Women in Photography. Good evening. I'm Jean Farrow, President of Women in Photography International. I would like to say thank you very much to the International Photography Awards and Hassan Fernami for inviting us to participate in the Lucy Awards. Women in Photography International was created in 1981 and still today as an online resource center at womeninphotography.org. Write that down. <laughs> Women come together to communicate ideas and express their passion for photography. Whippy presented its first award in 1985 to Eve Arnold and over the years to such luminaries as Ruth Bernard, Mary Ellen Mark, Linda McCartney, Joyce Tennyson, Grace Robinson, and last year we named Annie Leibovitz the recipient. Tonight, we are proud to present our award to Sylvia Plackey. And we have invited renowned photographer Joyce Tennyson, a Whippy Advisory Board member, and the current winner of IPA's Book Award for her book, Intimacy, to introduce Sylvia's work and present the award. And now, here's Joyce. to present this Distinguished Photographer Award. Sylvia Plathi was born in Hungary and immigrated to the U.S. with her parents in 1958. She's been photographing New York almost ever since for over 40 years. For eight years, The Village Voice published one of her black and white photos weekly, something many of us look forward to. 
Sylvia is also a regular contributor to The New Yorker and many other top magazines. Plahi is the author of four books and the recipient of many awards, including a Guggenheim Fellowship. One of her enduring subjects has also been her son, Oscar winner, Adrian Brody. Her mentor and compatriot, Andre Cortez, said of her work, I have never seen the moment sensed and caught with more intimacy and humanity than in the photographs of Sylvia Plahi. I invite you now to look at some of Sylvia's work on the screen. to invite Sylvia Plahi uh, forward to accept this award. So long, but I always knew. I have to be quiet because I'm on the set of King Kong, and the monkey might be anywhere close by. I was gonna send you some flowers, but I thought that you need. Cut, cut. We can't hear you. There's a lot of rain. I need you to look in there and really, really enunciate. Okay. And also, I need more of a sense of urgency. Okay. There's more a King urgency. Kong coming after, but you gotta thank your mom. Okay. Let's do it again okay. from the top. Okay. Okay. Mom. I gotta be quick. I love you. I, I think you're the greatest photographer in the universe. Not just all women, all men, women in the universe. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. I, I was gonna send you flowers. I didn't think they were good. I was gonna send you a telegram, but it didn't have a lasting effect, so I decided to do something a little more grand. I hope you appreciate the gesture. I love you, Mom. I love you. Cut and print. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. We got that? That was a surprise. This poor lady who was rehearsing her speech.
backstage now. It's just not all over. <laughs> Well, now the, the speech doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I was going to say, I wish my son was here. <laughs> and now he was. So, that was wonderful. Well, anyway. I can't do this. <laughs> Thank you, George. Thank you, Jean. And many thanks to the Women in Photography International and the Lucy Awards. Iluci is Hungarian for Lucy, and that was my mother's name. And she and my father would have been pleased with this. I'm pleased too. This is a good time for me to get an award, an award now when I can no longer cut it as an emerging young photographer. <laughs> <laughs> I've been lucky. Many people have helped me. And Elliot and I, who would have thought we still love each other after all these years. And of course, Adrian, who gives us so much pleasure. As a photographer, I've had the good fortune to have traveled and walked through life and to have touched people and have been touched by them, though mostly through my eyes. And I have come away with pictures that prove I've been there. One thing I've tried is to remain an amateur in the sense that Andre Cortez meant it when he said he considered himself an amateur because he loved what he did. He loved being a photographer. 